That is his role. Uh, 15. All things that the Father <coughs> hath are mine. Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. So there are some things that the Godhead has collectively. Father, Son, and Spirit. The Spirit is descending the earth. That's why, you know, we got to understand that. You can be eloquent. You can be well-versed in scriptures. You can be fluent in Aramaic and Greek. You can write it by the word, but if you don't understand the unction, the inspiration of God, the life of God, the breath of God, and who it is on the inside of you that is far superior to your Pentecostal experience, because we think if we just get a harness on speaking in tongues or get a, you know, one-stop shopping at one of the gifts and aisle, <laughs> aisle nine where the gifts are, <laughs> we just think that's it. No, 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 no. He's sending the earth to glorify Christ. Yeah, yeah. Christ, Jesus. Jesus Christ has to be glorified in the earth, specifically in the heart of the church, because the Holy Spirit glorifies Jesus, and he does this by revealing to us the things that belong to Jesus. Jesus said that all things that the Father has are his. The Holy Spirit now administrates the things, the things of God through Christ Jesus to us. So if I don't have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, but I have a relationship with Christ, I don't know how that works out, but you, you have a knowledge of Jesus, not a relationship, a knowledge of Jesus, because you can't have a relationship without the Spirit. Right? right? So that means there's some things that's not going to be administrated. Or it's not going to be, be at optimum capacity to function in your life. Said the Holy Spirit now administrates the things of God through Christ Jesus to us, just as we cannot bypass Jesus to reach the Father. Uh -huh. That's what he said. No man come to the Father but by me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We cannot bypass the Holy Spirit to receive the things of Jesus and the Father. Yeah. 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 Please get that in your head. I can sit up here and I can go over scriptures and I, we can didactically go through scriptures. We just sent, that's just a term of teaching. Go through the scriptures and we can work like a Jinsu warrior trying to, you know, excavate things out of, out of the pages and we can allow God to open up our understanding as it relates to the things of the Spirit. But we got to make sure that we allow the Spirit to perfect the things that concerns us because He is the one that's going to guide us into all truth. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Not me. Amen. Amen. What I do, I reinforce yes. what he says. Yes. Amen. That's why I don't get weary in having uh, certain sections of my teaching kind of lengthy. Mm -hmm. I don't get weary. It could be at 25, 26. I can go to 100. Right. Think I care about labels? Amen. I'm, I want content. Mm -hmm. I want fruit. Yes. Yes. I'm looking for manifestation. I'm looking for blade ears and full corn. Yes. We talked about that yesterday. It's important that we change. Yes. It is. It's, 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 trust me. We got to give a hope to those that look at us. Amen. We got friends and family, children, grandchildren all around us. Yes. They just they they deserve a better quality of life. Yes. Yes, sir. They do. Yes, sir. So if you don't have any grandkids, that's fine. I love them. All right. But in the meantime, even if you do, it's time out. What was the thing we talked about yesterday? Selfishness. That's all we talked about. We talked about how to get free from that. Well, I ain't gonna say I talked about. It. I don't say uh, Bishop Exodus. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was, he was on it. <laughs> he was giving it to us. I was like, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I want to run around the church. Man. I ain't even left. I'm like, that's what I'm talking about, man, because that's what it's all about. <laughs> Seeing people grow and change yeah. and become a voice of the earth. Yeah. That's what it's all about, right? So the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, our guide, the one who's going to resuscitate us. Bring us to a level of understanding. It's, it's imperative.
Tell your neighbor, it's imperative. It's imperative. Yeah, the quality of your life ain't going to change until you make, understand that. So I, I found out <clears throat> through all of my studying and all of my teaching that I, I've been saved since 90, 1990. So it's what, 20, 24? Mm -hmm. For 34 years, I've been a student of scriptures. And one thing that I found out and I've learned is that the Father's redemptive work is comprehensive. It's, 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 it's detailed, it's tailor-made, it's beyond fleshly understanding. So it's imperative that we understand that the, His Spirit is sent in the earth to become our teacher and our guide, mm -hmm. to help perfect us. Mm -hmm. Amen? He ain't just a notion. He ain't just a ghost. He ain't just a fear. Mm -hmm. He ain't just a presence. We can modify Him. We can use those adjectives. Mm -hmm. But He's not bound to those things. Mm -hmm. When he shows up, it's that shows up. Yes. Peace come. Yes. Amen. Joy come. All of those are manifestations of the self-same spirit. Amen. Amen. Right? Mm -hmm. But he is the catalyst of change. And he's the one, and I'm getting ahead of myself, he is the one that's going to bring us to the point where we can experience God and become more aware to the spirit more than we've ever been in our life to the point where he'll do away with your natural perception of who you are and bring you to a consciousness of true life one that is far far above the consciousness of the life you had in the flesh <laughs> trust me <clears throat> he can take you out of any predicament you in this morning yes he can he can reset you see one thing about it is we've been walking a certain way for so long and we like Habakkuk yeah. Or again. What are the promises? Come on. Habakkuk said, I don't know if we can do it. Because we walk in rebellion and we walk in compromise and you know we 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 look we look at things and we, we, we <laughs> most of us are looking to sin freely. And I'm 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 trying to live my life to, to be free from sin. Amen. Yeah. I'm not trying to see what I can get away with. Because I already know the fruit of those things. The wages of sin is death. I'm looking for life. I say, I say this quite a bit. I'm looking for life. I'm looking for life in relationship. Look, I don't, my friends around me, you know, I mentor people, but I'm talking about my friends, my, my, my roadies. I, I'm looking for life. I got some old friends. I love them to death. And I can call them a drop of a hat, probably tell you. I call them up, man, we're we going to miss a beat. But they're not where I'm going. That's right. Amen. Amen. And I can't afford to be bound by sentiment. Yeah, we all sentimental. I was, man, I was, man, we just go, you know, you know, we did our thing together, you know, and all that stuff, you know. When I was in trouble, he got me out of trouble, and when I was doing things, he covered for me, and you know, when I was doing the no no, you know, when he, you know, he used to cover for me. Oh my God, time for all that, right? Right. Forty and fifty and sixty. Eighteen. I understand if you know you're sixty, you want to put a little dye in your hair. Well, I get that. <laughs> or put a wig. Oh, I don't know. You know. Talk about us. Yeah, I know. I got a little bit going on too. Don't worry about it. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Just, just a. Just a. <laughs> we all got superficial ways at, at a time, but not to the point I'm gonna allow my future to be confiscated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They ain't going to be too responsible for you anyway. Right. Trust me. They, they really are waiting on your downfall. Oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, they are. They plotting. It's, they don't even know it. They, they ain't plotting on you. They love it on you in private, in public, but they private. They plotting you. They assassinating you and everything. I know because I've been around some rappers, but We have to get to the point to understand that our security is based on our own decisions. Yes, yes. And that the Holy Spirit has given us the propensity to do what's right. Yes, sir. Can't keep using the cop out. Can't keep going to Romans seven. Mm, we know, you know, you tell carnal saints. Mm -hmm. They always want to go over there and talk about what they say over in scripture. Mm -hmm. The good that I would do, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> yep, y'all heard them people. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. We all got 
things that need to be worked on. You, you, you prophesy to yourself. That's right. That's right. You know, everybody got issues. Oh, you talking about, oh, when I hear that, it just, oh, I just want to go just ballistic. Speak for yourself. I know my enemies. Sometimes that's a license. To not to grow up. Some of us are sincerely working out our salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, some of us have made up our mind. That is not my resume. I'm sorry. I scrapped that. Amen. I've accepted what 2 Corinthians 5 and 21 says. For him that knew no sin was made sin for me that I may be made in the righteousness of Christ. I'm not a sinner saved by grace. I'm righteousness in Christ. I'm a new creation. Yeah. Old things have passed away. Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. oh, okay. Yes, Behold all things. All things. Okay. Yeah. Become new. Yes. And from that vantage point is where I live from. And I can do that. I can hold my head up in spite of some afflictions because I know that he's working them out on the inside of me. Amen. He's perfecting the things that concerns me. Amen. So I don't interrupt the process. By getting a little antsy. Yes. I just choose to agree with them. Yeah, I'm jacked up. But that ain't me. Paul was able to say it. Paul said, I'm a chief of the sinner. You go over to the you go over to Second Timothy, he said, I'm wrong, no man. And the only difference between that statement he made in Corinthians and the statement in Timothy, guess what? How long it was? That was ten years. He didn't stay there. I was going to say something. Let me get to this. I know. I know. <laughs> now we're looking for a license. It's easy to make a provision for your flesh than to submit to God. It is. It's easy. But God has given us an antidote for all of the dysfunction. The antidote for religion is, 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 is the Holy Spirit. He's our only hope to escape corruption. He is the one calling us on a journey of change, y'all. Yes. Tell your neighbor, he's calling us. He's calling us. On a journey of change. On a journey of change. See, you got to be willing to follow him, y'all. Tell your neighbor, you got to be willing to follow him. You got to be willing to follow him. And so I'm going to see if you're willing today. Let's talk about a few things. All right. Amen. Amen. Let's talk about his work on the inside of us. One day we'll talk about how to develop a relationship with him. Yes. I can tell you real quick. Whatever the words say, whatever he speak, do it. That's it. That's it. Obedience. Obedience. Yep, that's it. Whatever he's saying, do it. Do it. Whatever the word says, do it. Amen. Now you need to get that first. Come on. Just do it. Yeah. That's out of scriptures. Yes, do it. He says, it's Luke 6 and 46. He says, why say Lord, Lord? And don't do the things. Then I tell you, what are the things I say? Mm -hmm. He said in John 14, 23, he said, when you keep my commandment, I am the Father that shows up. Jesus. Anybody want them to show up? Yes. Why he ain't showing up? Because you ain't doing nothing with his word. Yes. Jeremiah said he watches over his word yes, to perform. Yes. Why there's no performance? Mm. Mm. Are you I, I know I'm preaching. preaching I'm trying to get us on the right channel. Yes. And stop kicking up dust. Yes, sir. It's time to get traction. Yes. It's time to get some movement. Yes. It's time to be focused. Yes. It's time to be about our father's business. Yes. You're going to waste all the years and then get to the end and find out all the stuff you missed out on. Yes. I don't want to miss out on that. When I was in the world, I didn't want to be. Let me tell you something. When I was in the world, I wanted to thug. I thug. Mm -hmm. I wanted, when I was selling coke, I wanted to know what coke was, how it looked. If it was re rock or not, I could tell you. All of that stuff. I wanted to know the weight. I wanted to know how much weight. If it was a kid, he had to have two kids. I wanted to know. So even in darkness, 
I had a tenacity in darkness yes. for what was wrong. Yes. How much more? We're right. sin about. Right. Grace so much more about. So if you wasn't lazy when you was un if, if you come on now, if you wasn't lazy when you were saved and you got into all kind of stuff, what what what, what the energy? Jesus. And I'm gonna tell you, like a good person, if I had a T-Mobile and I had a router. How many know if you're trying to run a lot of devices off one router? How many know if you splinter off whatever that router represents, the energy on it, you weaken the signals? That's what happened with most of us. Yeah, we double minded. And we want God and a little bit of us. And, the, the, and the, so we're off channel. And, and we can't get clear signals. 